Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to display something on our 7 segment display. Yeah? So we are using a shift register, we are using a 7 segment display and we want to display a number which is which we type in. Yeah? We have had a very similar program. Yeah? Remember this one? Yeah, where we used the shift register and turned on a LED, LED number. Yeah? So I will upload this now. Exactly the same program as in this mentioned video before. I open the serial monitor and see if this is working. Zero. Okay. So this is, this is A. I just see here, uh, you see it mm, turned. Yeah? So I will mirror this. Okay. Now you see it like I see it. So this is the this is A, huh? and let's turn on one LED after the other. One, yeah, two, yeah, three, yeah, four, five, six, and seven shall be the decimal point. Also there. Huh? Let's clear. Let's clear it X. Okay, basically this is working. You've seen, I can turn on any LED I like. <coughs> However, if I, I'm entering, for instance, zero, I do not want that one LED is lit, I want to, that a zero is written there. Yeah? So, I have to change my program a little bit. Yeah? I will save it under a new name. Save as 16, one digit, LED. Back. Good. Of course. Of course we could write it uh, pretty much. Uh, for instance, I could write if character equals zero. Then uh, update shift registers and now I show you something. Yeah? We can, of course, we could now think about I need bit number zero, did bit number one, two, three, four, five. I don't need six and seven, yeah. So this must be 64. 63. I guess, uh, decimal. Uh, I will remove this. Let's see what this is doing. Uh, so type in zero. Whoa, lucky guess, 63. Yeah, Because I need to add up two raised by the power of zero, uh, speed zero, two raised by the power of one, this is one, two, four, yeah. say so seven, then eight is fifteen, <laughs> then sixteen, and so on. I need to add this up, and there we are reaching sixty-three. Yeah. Well, one possibility. I could also write a B. This is marking a binary number. Yeah? This is handled by the precompiler. It does not mean a lack of resources or something like this. It is changed even before. It's like a compiled and constant. Yeah? B. So we need a bit. We need two zeros and then under three, four, five, six, seven. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht. One too much. Yeah? This should result in the same. I just need the lower bits to be set. Yeah? The higher bits I do not. Ooh, this was wrong. <laughs> Drag and drop. Huh? The higher bits I did not need. This is the binary representation of 63. Yeah? If I upload this, we should see exactly the same behavior. Zero. Past. Yeah. X. Of course, I could then write 
if is one, then we just need the lower two bits, and so on. Upload. Is this correct? I don't think so because now one <laughs> would be would be the other bit. So this zero needs to go to the end. Upload. Uh, zero one. You see, it's working. Yeah, two is nothing doing because I have not coded it up to now. Okay. However, this is not nice. This is not nice programming. If this and this, I mean, we can calculate the number. We have seen this. We can say number equals character minus zero. Huh? Now we know the number. Huh? If character equals or is the same as zero. And character smaller or equal than seven, and seven no, nine, of course, you know, because this time, then we do this, then we calculate this. So it would be nice to have a list of values, and a whole array of, L, of, of values, yeah, which we can simply use. Yeah, and we can do this. Yeah. So we can define byte, and we say patterns or yeah, LED patterns. Yeah. And how many do we need? Zero, one, two, ten, up to ten. Yeah. This with this with these brackets, I am defining an array. Okay. Now I do not have just one thing defined, I have defined 10. Yeah? And how do they do I get in here now the patterns? Yeah? So I can write an equal sign, then these point the brackets, and now I can give 10 values. Well, and the value number zero is of course this. The value number one is of course this. And now I will just write two, three, four, five. Just different patterns, nine, without taking too much care, ten. Okay, I have here now ten LED patterns. These are the values of my LED patterns. How do we access it? We simply go up the shift register, and here I want to have the according LED pattern. So I'll take this LED patterns. And I access it also with this type of bracket, and the index, the position, shall be defined by number. Okay, this should help already. Too many initializers. So now. This is zero. This is one. Now we are helping us with two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Of course, eh? one is too much. Mm -hmm. Also need semicolon. Of course, we also need this. Hey, hey, it's what up, huh? Okay, I <laughs> let it compile. Type in a number zero. Yes, one. Yes, two. Is something deep. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine working. Okay. So this is how you could do this with a so-called array. This is just define it with these brackets. An array. If you do not intend to change these values because they need to they don't need to be changed, you can use here const. This means, hey, these values shall be constant. Okay? Whenever you try to access, to write on these LED patterns, the compiler will inform you, hey, you're trying on a, to, to write to a constant value. Like it warned me before, you have given me too many initializing values. Yeah? Um, this helps, yeah? because then you code it better. Okay? So, this is the LED patterns. Okay. And if you put in the correct patterns, yeah, it would look like as we expected. Yeah. So one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, really as digits. Yeah. I'm pretty sure now this cannot be an issue for you. Next time, we are using a different type of, of these displays. Yeah? Next time, we are using a four digit display. Exactly, it's looking exactly like this, but with four digits. Yeah? It is not that easy as it sounds because we don't have this time four. We again have less connectors yeah? and we need again have to do something special. What this special is yeah? will then be discussed in next videos. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.